see. This is uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Extra, 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 extra. Another story for you out of Milwaukee. Um, actually, this story is out of Kenosha. Uh, and it's very interesting how uh, people handle stuff today as opposed to uh, when I was coming up. Because this right here um, is I'm kind of familiar with this behavior. I'm not putting a judgment on it, right or wrong. Um, but this is how we used to settle stuff, and it would be pretty much um, over with in the community. Um, and let me start with this. So there was a, well, I got to wait till some certain amount of time pass if I want this video to be monetized. And you already know, they take it, YouTube is taking your subscribers and unmonetizing videos, so I had to be real careful. But this story, this story is about Clinus, Clinus, Clinus Fisher is his name, 34 years old, okay? And like I said, if you would have took this story and put it back 30 or 40 years ago, I wouldn't be surprised because this is, I, I, I'm familiar with this and it don't make it right, but it is what it is. Um, a Zion, Illinois man accused of sexually assaulting a girl when she was 10 years old has been criminally charged after he was found in Waukegan, injured, surrounded by five to seven women, some of them with armed with two by fours. 34-year-old Cleonice Fisher faces the following charges. On March um, 12th, uh, Waukegan police got a call from a man who was reported, who reported he was being chased by a van and he had already been pepper sprayed. When police responded to the scene and observed, because he didn't call the police on his own self, and observed Clownese Fisher on the ground surrounded by five to seven women and a man. Fisher's eyes were red and puffy, and he had several scrapes and cuts to his face. The women surrounding at him were yelling that he had molested a girl and that he needed to go to jail. Uh, he was then transported to the hospital from the scene by an ambulance. A criminal complaint filed in the case says the girl's mother informed her children that Fisher would be coming over and that the girl said she didn't want him to come over. The girl then said that when she was 10 years old, Fisher had sexually assaulted her when she visited uh, his home in Kenosha. The girl says it happened again at their home in Gurney, Illinois. The girl had been watching a movie and fell asleep. When she woke up, she was in her mother's bed with her garments off, according to the complaint. Um, and so he will be in... Oh, he got street justice, is what we call that. Um, so, of course, he's in custody. Um... You know, it's just so much sickness. And and this is why we have the mental health and we we looking why at at our people especially who are so opposed to therapy. Here's a father charged with sexually assaulting a twelve year old daughter who was the subject of a Florida missing case. There's a lot of young men out here now doing this and doing this to their own daughters. Um you know, it used to be a time where you would expect it from a stepfather. And I'm not saying making that no better, but the society is getting to the point where there is it's just no boundaries. Nothing is sacred. I mean, nothing. So, um, or a prosecutor, this man kidnapped a 15-year-old girl. Um, this, this stuff is just insane. It is insane. Uh, 
There's a woman here, and she got less than two years. You know what she was doing? They let her out. They let her out. Samaria Williams, 24, uh, pleaded guilty to one count of received compensation for human trafficking. She was sentenced to serve just under two years and four and a half years extended supervision. Her co-defendant, Kendra Bay, faces two counts of trafficking of child and is um, and one count of received compensation for human trafficking. So these are women that are trafficking other young girls. We got a problem, y'all. We got a problem in this community and nobody want to talk about it. Nobody want to talk about it. And you can't have all hands on deck with behaviors abound like this. It's just impossible. You can't go to a build a new world with people like this in it that are taking advantage and will make them a, a mockery and a, not just a mockery, but make a victim out of your children. And traumatize them for the rest of their lives. Uh uh. They said the girls was that's now now nineteen and twenty told the investigator that they would each engage in acts with men while they were teenagers and give the money to Bay or Williams. Uh, many of the encounters involved road trips. Although some occurred in condominiums in Milwaukee, the girls the girls were provided a place to stay, clothes, food, and money to get their nails and hair done. the The older women also beat up the uh, older girl. Um, the victims told the state navigator. She wasn't having it. Uh, I'm I'm just sad. A uh, Houston man accused of molesting and assaulting and and brutally, fatally murdering his nine month old daughter. What is wrong with us people? What is wrong with us people? Can't blame white people for this. See, or this man. Going down the street talking about he's hunting for a female. And now he ran up on one that he saw on the streets and he just killed her. Uh, his name is Kendall Towns, 26. He's a piece of garbage. One face, one face, uh, one count of reckless homicide. I mean, it just makes no sense. It makes no sense. The people have been driven mad by corrupt leadership, weak leadership, insane leadership. Crap trickles downstream. So as it below, that's how it is up the top. This is insanity. Uh, um, it's just sad. It said, listen to this. I'm just going to just give you this much of the story because it's so disgusting um, that I, I want y'all to know just how sick and dangerous we are um, and how we navigate through our own communities. Prosecutor said a shot putter alert noted five gunshots were fired just before 5 a.m. Five 40 caliber cartridges were found near the victim who suffered 11 gunshot wounds caused by four different gunshots. According to the witnesses, the victim had gone out that night and spent time in a house near 25th and Chambers. 
uh, she was she was eventually caught on camera walking in the area where prosecutors said the suspect vehicle was also caught on camera, suddenly swerving as though attempting to cut off or stop this female. The criminal complaint said the occupants of that vehicle interacted with the woman before the vehicle continued on driving in a very small area, appearing to look for something or someone. The complaint noted that the occupants of the vehicle appeared to be hunting for an African-American female. Hunting. Y'all hear me? So the vehicle pulled over in a manner that was consistent with the suspect having found who they were searching for. Gurley was standing on the corner. The cameras captured her looking toward the vehicle <coughs> before crossing the street. Meanwhile, the complaint said the cameras captured two males with long dreads exiting the vehicle, excuse me, <coughs> and walking towards the woman. Prosecutor said the firearm was seen in the front short pockets of one of the two men later identified as Towns. The complaint said around 5 a.m., the time when shot, shot spotter indicated the shots were fired in this case. The video shows two people running from the scene of the homicide, one of them wearing jean shorts seen in the surveillance. The other eventually shown two people entering and waiting in a vehicle consistent with there have been a third person that was driving the vehicle. Why, y'all? Why? Why? The driver of that vehicle eventually pulled over near the homicide scene, the video shows, as though checking to make sure that the victim was gone before pulling off at a high rate. This is what is happening inside these communities. This is what's happening. And I... I don't understand because it can only go two ways. Either we're going to have to let them fix it or we got to fix it. There's, this, there's no other choice in this matter. These are the, the most weakest, weakest definition of, of a man I've never seen. These are males, man boys. that beat up their mother and the mom was scared of them because she done went and had a baby by a man that didn't stay there with her, raise his children with nothing constructive implanted in them. And now they run around the streets like this, predators. It's disgusting. Oh. oh, my God. It's just senseless. It's senseless. All right. I, I'm, I'm going to go. I ain't even going to read no more. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, I'll see you in the next video.